psychological results. Now, what about the effects on your body when taking LSD? The study of LSD-25 continues in laboratories and hospitals throughout the United States. LSD-25 has been found by several investigators to cause breakage in human chromosomes in studies carried out on peripheral blood of persons who have taken this drug. What does this mean? Well, we at least have to begin to become concerned about possible damage to unborn children. And this is a very real concern of the scientists involved and of the federal agency, the FDA. The Food and Drug Administration for many years has been involved in testing drugs that could cause genetic damage. Genetic damage such as we now are beginning to see with LSD. Well, let me illustrate on the board the various factors, the various things that we think about when we say genetic damage. First, we have a irreversible effect. That is, when we do have genetic damage, once it is set in motion, we don't know how to stop it. It's just like driving a car without brakes. Point number two, we have a time factor. That is, it may take as long as 10, 15, or even 20 years before we see the harmful effects after exposure to a chemical that causes genetic damage. Number three, and perhaps one of the most important points, is the age factor. The younger the person is, the more harmful the effects are. Now, what do we mean when we say genetic damage? What kind of conditions can we identify uh, in you and me as a consequence of genetic damage? Number one, we see teratogenicity. This is a rather big word. It only means that we have abnormal fetuses. We have children that are born without legs or arms, the kind of thing we've seen after thalidomide exposure. Number two, it can be carcinogenic. That is, it can induce cancer. And number three, and perhaps one of the most important things, is the fact that after genetic damage, we may have a mutagenic event. By this we mean a effect not only for our present generation, but something that is carried over into succeeding generations. LSD as far as we now know, may be put in the category of the type of compound or chemical that causes these types of damage. Uh, if we think of radiation, and of course we all know the harmful effects of radiation exposure, we can find that we get all three types of damage, the cancer, the teratogenic effects, and the mutagenic effects. There always has been a problem with testing chemicals for chromosome damage in man. We have 46 chromosomes they are small. This animal, a South American woolly opossum, has 14 chromosomes as compared to R46, and they are a great deal larger. This should enable us to see more subtle effects than we have been able to see heretofore. One of the more recent areas of investigation concerning LSD has been the effect of the drug on human chromosomes. The chromosomes are those tiny little structures of various shapes and sizes which are responsible for the transmission of our traits from one generation to the next. When we added LSD to the blood of normal individuals in test tubes, we saw a large amount of chromosomal breakage and damage. This made us go out to investigate whether or not similar damage was occurring in the blood cells of individuals using LSD. Upon examination of their blood cells, identical damage was observed. And this type of damage was reflected as either single breaks in the chromosomes or fragments which have been broken off of the chromosomes to rearrangements and bizarre configurations of the chromosomes, not in their normal fashion. These types of abnormalities are potentially dangerous to the individuals carrying them. What are these dangers and what is the significance of this particular type of damage? It has long been an established fact that chromosomal investigation of cells which are derived from tumors 
or certain types of individuals with cancer show identical chromosomal damage. This is not to say that LSD is going to cause cancer in the individuals taking it. The association of chromosomal damage and cancer is an established fact. Whether one causes the other or vice versa is as yet unknown. And much more research will be necessary before we can answer this problem adequately. The second concern is what is the effect of LSD on an unborn child? What is the possible danger to a child whose mother takes LSD during her pregnancy? There have been several reports recently of malformed children born to mothers who took LSD during pregnancy. However, there has not been enough time yet, nor enough pregnancies of this type, to fully answer the problem in man. But data from animal studies with experimental animals under controlled conditions where we do have large litter sizes and do have the proper scientific controls have given us an answer. For the past 10 years, I and other scientists throughout the world have been interested in the effect of drugs on the pregnant animals and their babies. In a series of experiments utilizing over 200 pregnant hamsters and 2,000 of their babies, LSD and mescaline were injected into the pregnant animals. A number of very serious defects reoccurred in each of the experiments. I would like to now show you some of the results of these experiments. This is a fetus from a mother not receiving LSD, a normal fetus. This is a fetus from the mother receiving LSD. Note the abnormal face, the characteristics of the skull, and the brain which is extended to the outside. Note this control fetus from a mother not receiving LSD. This is another fetus from a mother receiving LSD during her pregnancy. Note the brain outside of the skull again. Note also the hemorrhage in this brain. Note the two control fetuses from mothers not receiving LSD. The middle fetus represents one from a mother receiving LSD during her pregnancy. The spinal cord is exposed and the spine is deformed. Again, we have a control fetus from a mother not receiving LSD during her pregnancy. This is a fetus from a mother receiving the drug during her pregnancy. The liver is external, not within the body cavity. There is a hemorrhage in the brain also. Here again is a control fetus from a mother not receiving LSD. Here is an experimental fetus from a mother receiving LSD during her pregnancy. Note the fluid accumulation across the spinal area. Note also the hemorrhage within the body cavity. Here again is a control fetus from a mother not receiving LSD during her pregnancy. Here is an interesting fetus from a mother who had received LSD during her pregnancy. Note the many malformations present of the brain, the spinal cord, and the limbs. Obviously, the results which we have just seen were those obtained on animals. However, these results should make us consider very seriously the potential hazards of LSD and other hallucinogenic drugs in the human. We at the National Institute of Mental Health provide much of the research money for investigations with LSD. In addition, we're the sole legitimate supplier of LSD to research investigators. Of late, we've been concerned about the biological hazards of LSD, specifically chromosomal damage that has been reported in various biological laboratories. We've been concerned enough and we feel this is serious enough to spend a good bit of time and money and effort to find out what the significance of these findings really is. I know of no drug that we've studied that has as many frightening potentials as this drug. Yes, LSD-25 is truly a dangerous drug to fool around with. It is playing Russian roulette.